Hello everyone. We have two questions here. Since both the questions, the solution is somewhat similar, I have placed them together. So let's work it out one by one. What is the first question? Determine, determine the arithmetic progression whose third term is 16 and the seventh term exceeds the fifth term by 12. So in order to solve this, let us look at what is an AP and let us look at the pattern of an AP. So if you call the first term of an arithmetic progression as A, A this is your first term. Now what is our second term then? Second would be A the first term plus the common difference, right? And the third term would be A plus 2 times D. Why 2 times? Because D plus D. You are adding D. You are adding the common difference to the previous term. So A plus 2D. This is our third term. Now, what is their nth term? What would be the nth term? You can guess your nth term easily if you look at A as A plus 0 into D. 0 into D is 0. So, it does not make a difference and you look at this as a plus 1 into d. So, what happens to our nth term? It becomes a plus n minus 1 into d. I have written 0d and 1d just to bring this pattern to uh, understand this pattern of an AP. Now, let us proceed to the sum. So, the third term is given to us as 16. What is our third term? a plus 3 minus 1d or 2d is given as 16. So, this is one information which is given to us. I mark it as 1. The second information is the seventh term exceeds the fifth term by 12. So, let us see what is our seventh term. It is a plus 7 minus 1d or a plus 6d. Now, a plus 6d is greater than the fifth term by 12. So, whatever is your fifth term you write it here plus 12. We add it we get this equation. So, what is your fifth term? It is a plus 5 minus 1 d or a plus 4 d. So, this is the second information I mark it as 2. So, look at this second information. We have a on both sides of the equation. So, let us just subtract this a from both sides of the equation. We get <coughs> 6 d is equal to 4 d plus 12 or shifting d to one side that is uh, keeping all the variables to one side of the equation or in other words subtracting 4d from both sides of the equation I get 6d minus 4d is equal to 12 or 2d is equal to 12 which implies that the common difference of this arithmetic progression which we require is 12 by 2 which is 6. So, now we know the common difference. What is the next? We should know what is A. So, A can be obtained easily by substituting in this first equation, in this equation because we know what is D. Now, we can find what is A. What is our first equation? I am rewriting it. A plus 2D is equal to 16 and D is 6. So, A plus 2 into 6 is equal to 16 or a plus 12 is equal to 16 or it gives you A is equal to 16 minus 12 which is equal to 4. So, now we know what is A the first term of the AP. We know what is D the difference in the AP. So, the AP becomes the required AP. The required arithmetic progression is 4 first term. 4 plus 6, 10, second term, 10 plus 6, 16, third term and so on. So, this is an arithmetic progression. So, you can find uh, some more terms also using this pattern. I hope this is clear to you. Now, with the same uh, procedure, we can try to do the 18 sum or the second sum. So, let me just uh, take away whatever working we had done. Uh, we just need the first one. So, let me cancel all this out. We do not need all this. Yeah. Right. So, now let us try to work out. The sum of the fourth and eighth terms of an AP is 24. So, what is given to us? 4. Fourth term is what? A plus 3D. Since we know the pattern, it is easy for us to do it now. Fourth term is A plus 3D and eighth term. So, you should add it a plus 8th term is A plus 7D 
This is given as 24. So this is our first information. And what is the second? The sum of the 6th and the 10th terms is 44 or a plus 6th term means 5d plus a plus 10th term is 9d. Right? We are just following the pattern which we arrived at, arrived at here in the beginning. So this, all this is equal to 44. I repeat again, it is given that the sum of the 4th and 8th terms of an AP is 24. That is why we have this equation, sum of 4th and 8th term is equal to 24. And the second information, the sum of the 6th and the 10th term, that is sum of 6th. 5d, a plus 5d and the 10th term a plus 9d. This is 44. So, what we, what should we find? We should find the first three terms of the AP. So, we just need a and d. So, let us proceed. Let me mark this as 2. So, simplifying both 1 and 2, we get your first equation. 1 becomes 2a plus 7 plus 3, 10d is equal to 24. And what about the second equation? It becomes 2a plus 9 plus 5 gives us 14. 14d is equal to 44. Right? So, this, these are the information given to us. Let us try to find d just by subtracting one from the other. Maybe you would remember, you would recall the simultaneous linear equation solution now. Just subtract. Subtract the 2a minus 2a or the whole thing is subtracted. So, every sign changes, right? What do you get? Your 2a minus 2a becomes 0. But 10 minus 14 is minus 4d is equal to 44 minus 24 is 20. But it is minus 20 as the negative sign. 44 is associated with the negative sign. So, the value of d becomes 20 by 4 which is 5. So, let me erase this. It is confusing. It is the previous sum which we did here. Yeah. Right. So, what is d now? From here we get d is equal to minus 20 by minus 4 or 5. So, we have arrived at d. Now, just substitute this in the either the first or the second equation. Maybe this one. 2a plus 10d is equal to 24. Just substitute the value of d here, we will arrive at the value of a, which is 2a plus 10 into 5 is equal to 24 because d is 5 or 2a plus 50 is equal to 24. So, this is one from the other, if we just deriving one from the other. Uh, so, what do you get? We get 2a is equal to 24 minus 50 or what is 24 minus 50? It is minus 26. 24 minus 50 is my, you can just subtract and check uh, so that you are uh, very sure of the answer. I wrote it because 50 minus 25 is 25. So, 50 minus 24 is 26 and the negative sign because 50 is associated with the negative sign. So, what is our A now from all this? A is equal to minus 26 by 2 which is minus 30. Now, we have both the first term which is minus 13 and we have the value of d which is 5. Now, is not it easy for us to form the AP because we know the pattern of the AP. We know that it is a the first term a plus d a plus 2d and so on. So, let us just form this AP. So, the first term is minus 13. Now, the second term is add a 5 to the minus 13. What do we get? I think it is 8, right? 9, 10, 11. Yeah, it is minus 8. If you add a 5, it is minus 8. And again, if we add a 5 to this minus 8, you get minus 3. And the fourth term would become positive. Minus 3 plus 5, which becomes 2 and so on. So, we were only asked to find the first three terms of the AP. But whatever, I was satisfied only after getting this positive term. So, I hope you understood. Thank you.